Hello everyone, this is Pat Nats coming to the brand new video today. I'm playing on the Kickcore SMP server. Last time on the Kickcore SMP server, I uh, I started the, was working on the Skyblock because I got it in the lottery, and um, now and now I'm working on it more. As you can see, the house has made a lot of progress, so I will start by showcasing that. Of course, we got a lot of other stuff to showcase today, and I'll talk about our future plans uh, in due time. So we do have this house here. Uh, like I said, my idea was just to slowly get narrower and narrower as it went up, uh, and it just got taller and taller until now it's got kind of a kind of a nifty looking house at least i haven't been able to build this style before so i for one uh had a lot of fun making it as you can see the rooms just go up uh i kind of ran out of room for stairs but i do have a ladder for this really tiny room uh oh we got rodents hey nice of you to invite nice me to this chat. house party uh, great house you got here thanks for inviting me oh it's fantastic I, 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 you know, I think I might have, you know how they say invitations get lost in the mail? Oh, whatever right. Whatever the, whatever the sender's, uh, perception of that is. I oh, think that right, yeah, 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 yeah. I, 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 I think I, I mean... accidentally sent mine through the mail. But, right. while you're here, uh, how would you like to help me, um, do some skyblock work? Sounds wonderful, yeah, yeah. Okay, sounds great. Uh, so, this is the skyblock. Mm -hmm. I haven't done very much work so far, but I've got a couple of crops growing. Yep. Uh, from my last video, some newer stuff is... These melons are actually growing, so I was actually planting... Oh, planted I... Quite Can I get some, please? Because I'm two and a half yes. down. Absolutely. Here you go. Thank you. It's 11. It's uh, becoming much more efficient than using apples, that's for sure. Yeah, uh, I would imagine. So I've added these stone walls. I'm just going to do a quick recap for my viewers, if that's okay with you. Yep, yep. I've added these stone walls uh, just to make it easier to not fall off. And then, of course, I've added stone walls all the way over. And I finished this house with a repeating pattern. I added windows up there. And it was a little difficult to add windows with this style of wall. But I found a pretty cool way to do that using the stairs in certain formations. Uh, obviously, once you get up there, things change a little bit because you start running out of room. But I do have windows on all three of the floors that you can actually go into. Uh, or four of the floors. Like, even this one up here. This window's a little bit different, but still has a window. And, of course, it can't go up there because that one's just uh, one block wide. So, not much reason to have a ladder going up that way. Uh, so, yes, I got all that done. And I think it's looking pretty snazzy. Like I said, I haven't built in this style before. But I've always seen it. And I always thought it was it. I just don't even work with this materials very often. I try to avoid it just because they're so common. Uh, but since these are the only materials I have, I think I ended up looking pretty nice having the mix of stone brick, cobblestone, uh, wood stairs and um, oak logs. Overall, very happy with. It. Glad how it turned out. Uh, of course, it does have rodents every once in a while, like James. The <laughs> <laughs> and then I think I've also expanded my tree area a little bit uh, since last time. Of course, eventually we'll have our own island dedicated to the trees, uh, and perhaps that's something we'll work on today. But we do have a, I do have a couple ideas of stuff we can. Uh, as I specified last episode, that tiny island way down there. Uh, that's what I'm going to use instead of my sand island that usually come with the packs just because I didn't make a sand island, but mm -hmm. there is sand over there as well as gravel. I actually really need gravel so I can make it to the uh, nether portal so it all works out. But I'm treating the water as acid down there. If I touch the water, I am dead. I drop all my stuff and drown. So I have to very carefully mine that stuff out. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to go also, I'm only going to go one block deep. You know, I'm not going to just keep mining. Obviously, that would get rid of the point of the sky block. Uh, so that that is our plans. And I think maybe Maybe we could do that today. Mm -hmm. Build a little bridge over there and use our water to get down. Welcome, James Douglas, to Pat Nets Skyblock. Woohoo! Yay! Yippee! Looks good. Uh, I, thank you, thank you. I plan on having um, guests every once in a while come on, just because uh, it gets it, it's a lot of work working on the Skyblock, and mm -hmm. it'd be fun to have multiple people. And I figured maybe we could use the time just to talk about some things. Maybe I could interview guests or something like that. We'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I'm the trial. Uh, I'm the trial. Oh, that's a pumpkin yeah, one as well. Trial run. Yes, I do have a pumpkin one. I don't know what to do with pumpkins. They don't have a lot of practical use. especially You not could block. use them as temporary armor. Oh, that's not how you put a pumpkin on your head. <laughs> hey, true. there we go. Maybe maybe, maybe that could be practical for, uh, for Endermen at some point by mm -hmm. fighting them. So it's kind of stretching it. But <laughs> maybe... Maybe uh, I can also make some jack lanterns for some cool decorations, because Lord knows it's difficult to get decorations on a skyblock, so maybe, maybe it would be a good sure. thing. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, James, would you like some tools? Because I do have some access to them. Yes, indeed. Some of them in yes. here. Uh, there's also cobblestone in there if you want to make your own tools. Plenty okay, of wood. yep. yep. Uh, I'm thinking maybe what we should start off with is making a bridge over to that area and also trying to get the rest of this dirt out, because I've gotten, gotten rid of most of it. Right, but, yeah. Um, uh, instead of just this, the farmable stuff, obviously, I'm, I'm keeping for now, but everything yeah. underneath that, you can tear out. And I, I figure we could split up into that 
you know, have one person do yep. either of those yep. jobs. I, I, so are, since... are you looking to keep the, the grass as well, right? Uh, oh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, you might, you might need to make a decision on that just in case this Ooh. grows and then right. that somehow gets destroyed. That's an excellent point. I'll put a torch on it to make sure I don't mow it. And I'll remember, like, why is there a torch right here? And it's like, oh, it's because I, want, I don't want right, it to be yeah. destroyed. Yeah. But good catch. You see, this is why you're, you always think of stuff like that. Like, I wouldn't even think to try to keep grass. I guess just in case, you know. Yeah. You could no, hire an enderman. You could hire an enderman to come pick it up, kill the enderman, get the block, and then you'd have one. But, you know, it's, <laughs> it's true. Easier said than done. May maybe that's when the pumpkins will become useful. You see, right, you're very right. resourceful. I'm glad I had you on. Um, <laughs> So, uh, since since you're the guest, would you like to pick a job? Would you Ooh, like to pick? So, uh, it's either bridging to the island or getting rid of the dirt. Right. Ooh, I I I'm gonna say getting rid of the dirt actually, because I a bit of experience in that before. So gotcha. I'll see see if I can I can do it. And I'm not allowed to step on the bedrock, right? I'm uh, not the bedrock. Uh, the nether yeah, rack. The nether rack. Preferably right, right, not. That's fine. Yep, the that's all right. But feel free to take this water uh, okay. with the bucket. And sure. Go down there. I'm gonna get a little bit more cobble before you do that, though, because okay. I'm gonna need a and if I lose the bucket, you're stuffed, basically, right? Yes. <laughs> All right, well, I'll, I'll, I'll do my best not to, but I, I'll, I'll be as careful as I can. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I think one mental rule I've kind of been playing with is if I die or ocean, or, I'll mm -hmm. keep the stuff that's important. Like, right. Okay. Yeah. Can't continue without it, but lose yeah. everything else. So that's that always sense. kind of been my one gripe with skyblocks, anyway. Is right. Yeah. I, I hate restarting them, but mm -hmm. so yeah, that's you know, no big deal if you lose it. I can just get myself another. Cool. Plus, this isn't a traditional one, so there's a couple of things uh, that we might play differently. One is when I get over to that island, a lot of sky blocks start with two ice blocks. Right. I only started with one. Okay. Because uh, I was referencing an older version. Okay. I'm thinking maybe once I get down to that island, I will allow myself to bucket up an extra bucket so I can get a new water source up here. Okay, yeah. And uh, so I'm, I'm just doing mini rules like that every once in a while since this is not actually a sky block world. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, uh, feel free to take the water now. All right. I've got I'm half slabs as well. I'll be using some half slabs just to, you know, right. box it in. For sure. Uh, all right. So I'm thinking I should start digging up from this direction. Oh dear. So, uh, while you're enjoying your stay on Pat's Island and mm -hmm. working for me. Yep. Yep. Um, figured maybe I could I could ask you some interview-ish questions yep. a little bit. That's fine. Right. Veterans of my channel might know that I actually used to do uh, full interviews with other channels on my... Yeah, my yeah, no, I, I saw I saw them. At least one of them. I, I, I'm not sure if I saw one or two, but I, I knew you did them. Mm -hmm. I was... Uh, I, was uh, I haven't done it as much recently. Right, yeah. Uh, for I, one... Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, I'm guessing it's not the... Ooh, there's lava up there. Um, I'm guessing... <laughs> It's not the most easy thing to coordinate, or is that have I got the wrong yeah, end? That's that's pretty much what I was going to say. It's it's okay. not the easiest thing to coordinate. Mm -hmm. uh, for one, I I typically talk to channels that like I I was very inspired by and stuff. And okay, yeah. With, but that usually came down to channels that happened to be rather larger than mine. So right. It okay. Yeah. Difficult to communicate with them. Obviously, there's some I like I couldn't even have on my list of possible interviewees so sure uh but uh i have an idea james since mm -hmm. you placed that water down maybe what you could do is put the water back and then break that block so that water can get through that way oh, okay yeah that's a good idea that way i can still get cobblestone while you do this that makes sense all right um and you can put your sugar cane back because oh did that break yeah yeah you picked up thankfully Oh, okay, I, I've got more sugar cane anyway, but uh, I don't know. Oh, actually, I mean. actually, can I just real quick um, <laughs> sugar cane get rid of that it. and get rid of the block below so I don't lose it? Yep, yep, sounds good. But go. yeah, it, it was just uh, difficult to um, coordinate, and uh, mm. uh, I, I started looking at channels like, okay, this this is one I could interview and stuff. Yeah, but that didn't yeah. seem as fun to me to interview okay. channels just because I could. So right, yeah. ultimately, I I kind of stopped. Maybe maybe I'll do it again if I have a channel. Sure, um, sure, right. No, that's understandable. All that to say, maybe I could take this opportunity to interview the one and only James Lewis, who is a, <laughs> both Minecraft veteran and YouTube veteran. He's mm -hmm. been on the scene for quite a while now. Over was it over five years now? Yeah, say similar time to scale to yourself. It's true. Although I I, uh, I um wasn't extremely involved in Minecraft in the early well. 
Anyway, um, yeah, but you, you've been around the community for the, mm -hmm. the more yeah. community oriented questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, since, since we both play a lot of Minecraft, mm -hmm. uh, what are some of your favorite older servers that are either no longer in service or just. Ooh, yeah. Or just old, you know? Mm -hmm. Uh, well, I guess I guess it I, it wouldn't be a list, I guess, without mentioning Bad Lion. Um, since that, oh, oh, yeah, even yeah. even though that's only just gone out of existence, it's still I haven't played on it for you know almost like six months, and it was right. uh, it was good. But if we're talking really old, probably going back to 2012, 2013, I was on a, a survival. It was like a public SMP, so you know anyone could go on, anyone could log in. There was the economy. It was was that plugin called like the economy plugin or something like that, where you right. get or RPG or something like that, where you level up based on um, mining skills and things like that. Right, right, right. I, I can't remember the exact name of the plugin, but it had that. It was called Cuda Mine, um, and I played on that. Double played on it as well. It was. It was good. I I wouldn't say I got super involved with that community, but back then when I didn't have many, well, when I didn't know many people, there was the odd person I would speak to on that. So that was probably as as involved I got with the the whole Minecraft community back in the day. So I would definitely list that mm -hmm. one. Um, sorry, just quick question: How far, how deep does this this go? Dirt. This dirt, yeah, is it too deep? Um, it's three deep. Oh, well, oh, I've I've been using that. I'm sorry. I'll. I'll remember to use this from now on <laughs> that's, that's okay just think of it as it burns your feet <laughs> right 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 uh i think i can get rid of this yeah yeah okay that's fine other servers what other servers hmm is this servers that are out of existence or just favorite ones from back in the day um it can be fair ones back in the day like if you really liked hypixel or mindplex back in the mm. day too then mention those even though they're still right yeah yeah uh, it's hard to mention. Oh, Lichcraft. Oh, I've got to mention Lichcraft. Um, although the only... So it was basically a minigame server, much like, you know, MC Central, Mindplex, Hypixel. It was much smaller, much smaller community. Um, mm -hmm. And the only game I really played on it was the Capture the Flag mode, uh, which I... Gotcha. Yeah, it was... I played it to death, basically. Um, mm -hmm. It was like, you know, just getting after a long day and just sit on that for a few hours. I got... I, I was probably it was one of the sorts of PvP games where I was probably in the upper bracket because it was it was back in the days of pay to win, um, right? And so I found myself I found I could kill like donators who had better gear than me, and I ended up getting top twenty in kills. I've mm -hmm. t I've talked about that before, so but right. it, that was a good server, and I still yeah. in my stream you might see a guy called Ristoman, um, fourteen. Yeah. He he, I met him originally on that server, although we never talked oh, back then. It's it was only later he found my channel and we got talking again. So, did he did he find your channel like, without knowing it was it was yours, or did you tell him that? It was your no, I, I I I don't think I I'm not convinced. I did post one video. No, actually, I I, po I didn't post any videos to the forums. I made up one post on the forums, which he found. But I think he'd found my channel before that. I made like a, a montage and he'd found it. And yeah, oh, so. Okay. And then, oh, and then, cool. as a result of that, he's just watched my streams, and it's yeah, I've spoken to him a few times. Yeah, so, yeah I, I, I saw him around the marathon too. Mm -hmm, yeah, well, that was very, it was uh, nice of him to stop by as well. So yeah, I'd, I'd probably mm -hmm. say for the servers, Lichcraft, the Coup de Mine one that I mentioned. Is there any more? Oh, and one more, one more that has to be mentioned would be the the old Wall servers, the classic Wall server. I'm pretty sure it was a German yeah. server, but. Yeah, you know, you that. most people only played it for, or certainly most people I knew only played it for the walls, but mm -hmm. it had other stuff as well. It's just there was the direct connect to the walls. That was that was the first, the first ever server I joined was that server, back in I think it was twenty twelve. That was when my PvP journey started. Now, do do you speak German? Uh, I I know basic phrases for I did German for eight years at school, and I know basic okay. phrases, but I don't speak fluent and. There's no way I could hold a conversation with someone, so right. we'll go now, with one percent, zero point one percent. Did did spotters? I, I feel like someone I knew. Is spotters. Yeah, yeah. German, um, spotters probably knows more German than I do. Okay. So also speaking of spotters, I'm pretty sure spotters' first video that he's made on YouTube uh, was actually him on Lichcraft because I'm. All right. He's okay. doing quite a familiar um, 
I just realized mobs are gonna be spawning the heck out of here. Is this is this? Um, do you want me to light this up? Do you have any torches? Yeah, I do. Take those. You can have those. Okay. There we go. I'm gonna check Spawn's um, channel now, actually, just to have a look. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's funny. It's, it's a little bit before his voice. Uh, oh right. Okay. Comparing that to Spotters now. Yeah. Um, did you play on MC Zone at all? Uh, I might have done. What? What was that? Just a classic mini game was, server. It had um, survival games as well as most popular, but also, also it had like hardcore or it had Hunger Games back when there's a distinction between Hunger Games. Okay. Uh, and just, it had okay. Um, Hunger Games was basically just it's kind of like UHC except for it wasn't ultra hard. Right. And yeah. Everyone spawned at zero zero. Yeah. Just Wait, was that the, with whoever? Was that the direct, the one where you di connect connected directly and you just be lumped into worlds and then that was it? Game <laughs> yeah. started. Yeah. Okay. So I, I played on that once or twice. I I always have got four memories. I probably didn't understand what I was doing half the time. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. But yeah, no, well, I remember it. It, it also had um, it also had walls, and I think okay. that's what was most popular. Uh, right. Yeah, that was a, that was a classic one. Uh, for me, at least. Um, so, and then you you said you haven't played an Overcast before. Uh, uh, no, I I I very rare. I I barely played Overcast. I maybe logged in once or twice. Do you d did you run out of torches? Ah, uh, yeah. I probably did. Okay. Spa I probably spaced them too close. We can get rid of some. Okay. Like get rid um, of those two. Well, we we can also make more. With the <laughs> the <laughs> explosion. Um, if we, we can also make more with um mm -hmm. logs and charcoal. Well, I, I should uh, be fine, I reckon. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, do you have the water bucket on you? Uh, no, I, I left it. In the I left the bucket in the chest. Okay. You, you got you, all the dirt though. E oh, yeah, I've got it in me uh, in my inventory. That was that's awkward. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, take it back as quickly as possible. Yeah. Uh. So, but since you since you've also been around YouTube a lot and stuff, mm -hmm. um, uh, besides like Minecraft and stuff, are there any like uh, old school vanilla channels that you miss, that used to play Minecraft that don't play anymore. Ooh, that's a tough one because see, I, I enjoyed Ethel, but Ethel's kind of still around even if he doesn't upload nearly as much. Um, right. Oh, here yeah, I've got. Do you want me to bring the bucket? Uh sure. I'll get uh, the. Shall, shall, shall I bring the water? Yep. Sure. Okay, I'll get rid of the reeds in case it <laughs> it falls. Oh wait, there's still the gap there. Do you have? Let me just replace the gap. Um, old channel. Well, I guess in one at one level, the first Minecraft video I watched was by a guy, uh, an acquaintance of mine, IRL, and he he stopped doing Minecraft pretty quickly. But I I I actually enjoyed his videos when I first watched them, and whether that was because they were genuinely good or just because of the novelty of Minecraft at the time when I you know because mm -hmm. I, I was first seeing it. This was I mean, we're talking about middle of twenty eleven. Um, I don't know, but either way, I kind of miss that 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 guy's right. channel. Um, right. what other ones? I'm not really sure. So I never watched many of the older LPers. Right. I I know like I watched some of X's series, but that was many years later. So it, it, and he'd already left by then. So. Mm -hmm. No, I've always just been an Ethel fan, really. Uh, what about um like channels in general? Channels in general. Hmm. Hmm, who did I watch from back in the day? See, the thing is, I don't really remember. Here, do you want the bucket? I'll give you the bucket. Um, I guess my, my experience with YouTube before Minecraft was really just, you know, everything and anything. I guess mainly felt like, you know, it was back in the day when I didn't have an awful lot of DVDs. Well, DVDs were still a thing. <laughs> but um, I used to watch fil pieces of films that were obviously illegally uploaded right. to YouTube just because obviously I didn't own <laughs> right. the films. Yeah. Um, I would watch, I guess, the the, the occasional sports video because I was, I was into like football and running and that, so it'd be, it'd be cool to watch some of those things. But I, I wouldn't say I followed any particular channels. I, I guess YouTube has always worked like that, but maybe not always for me. Like, for example, mm -hmm. you got to keep in mind, I never had a channel until I made one to upload on. So right. I wasn't really subbed to anyone because I didn't have a channel to be subbed on. So, yeah. Right. That's, okay. that's 
Oh gosh, I thought you were a zombie that fell <laughs> to me. Do you have any old okay. channels you missed, by the way? Just out of interest. Uh, there's this one called Mini Tough uh, mm -hmm. that I was really a big fan of. He was actually pretty big back in... Well, he was never that big, but his videos were well known. Like, he was kind of the tutorial guy. Right, right. A lot of servers. Mm -hmm. Still to this day, if you Google, like, how to make a server and stuff, his mm -hmm. one of his suggestions is one of the top. Right. But, uh, he... He was very. I was very fascinating. Um, okay, yeah. Here, I want some slabs to start. Oh uh, yeah, yep. Getting some water around so we can dig this stuff out. Yep. Careful not to touch the uh, out outer water as it is very, very okay. hot to the touch. I will do my very best. Do you want more, more spread out? Yeah, I'm mainly getting the corners. Just okay. To have them. If we do out. that, then there's going to be plenty of stuff. Now I'm go. only going to mine the. The, the stuff in the middle, it. right, so you're not going to dig yeah. down here and get no. all the dirt and then mine into yeah. a cave and get all the diamond. Okay, yeah. Right. That stuff's already been fertilized with poisonous water, so... Oh, right, that makes sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you have a texture pack that turns the water, like, green? <laughs> I don't, but it's funny you mentioned that because I'm working on a map and mm. I, uh, I want to have somehow have poisonous water. By the way, this ground's not fertilized yet, but it's no good for crafting. Okay, <laughs> So yeah. I can walk on it, but I don't know, I'm just making stuff up. Oh! Oh gosh, I thought. <laughs> Sorry about that. Here, that's okay. There's all the sand. This, this water's still fresh. We don't like salt water. We only like fresh glacier water. <laughs> right, 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 right. That makes sense. Oh shoot. Okay, things worse. Um, but yeah, I've been working on a map, and I, I've, I'm mm. trying to think of a way to add poisonous water and how right. I can make it poisonous mm. beyond the eye. Maybe, maybe uh, green stained glass underneath it at all points or something like that. But I don't yeah. Know. It's something Interesting. About. Yeah. Uh, so is that all the blocks then? Seven sand and seven so. gravel. Wow. Uh, and then there were two dirt, right? Did you yeah, yeah, that's right. I got the dirt. Never mind. Okay. Well, great. We we found our first island. Uh, mm -hmm. This this area will explode if I come down here again, so I'm not going to come down here anymore. Right. But I will grab a quick bucket of water with me. Turn this uh, acid water into regular water. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm stretching a lot of stuff to make ah, this work. That's all right. But, you can make, you make um, your own rules. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Uh, so, uh, you, you, uh, yeah, this channel called Mini Tough I really liked. But um, right, yeah. As for another question, I'm kind of reflecting on a lot of old questions I've, I've asked right. other interviewers. Yeah, um, yeah. You've had a lot of different series on your channel. Yep. Uh, you've you've mostly played, you've mostly played one game, but you do have a lot of like, uh, uh strange games that people wouldn't normally find on. Yeah, channels, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Uh, out of those games, like you, and you've branched out a little mm -hmm. frequently recently. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you've done the Lord of the Rings games and whatnot. Yeah. But such as games like Lego Star Wars and Bugs Life, are there any mm -hmm. childhood games that you would to record at some point? Yes, yes. I would love to have an Elgato for recording the PS2 because I, I, you know, I still have one. Don't have a monitor to. Why? Well, uh, I guess I could put it on the TV, but I mean, the TV's not here, so it'd be less mm -hmm. convenient. Um, but there's a few games on the PS2 I'd love to record. Ratchet and Clank 3. I I used to play Ratchet and Clank at like gotcha. mate's house back in the day, and that was a fantastic game. I, I don't know what drew me to it, but it's just, maybe it was back in the days when I was just new to gaming and that. In fact, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a look at the history of Ratchet and Clank at the minute, because I want to know when it was released. But um, yeah, Ratchet and Clank, because I've got Ratchet and Clank 3. I used to play, I think, Ratchet and Clank 2. When I was at friend's house, and then Ratchet and Clank 3 I got. Um, I'm trying to remember what other games what other games I had on the PS2. Lord of the Rings, Return of the King, Lord of the Rings, Two Towers, both by the greatest game developers of all time, Electronic Arts. Um, I would <laughs> love to record them. Uh, I record, yeah, those games. Cause just because, you know, it's Lord of the Rings. Yeah. In terms of you know how often film games can be below average as far as right. gameplay goes. These, these ones, you know, yeah. they weren't the greatest games, but I mean, you know, just to you know right. live I, the movies, it was it was good enough. Right. I I um I grew up with a, a friend who mm -hmm. had those games, and I I played it decently with them. Yeah. Uh, and then later I learned that they're they're to the public eye, they're actually uh, relatively revered. A lot of people like them. Yeah, so, yeah. I, I wouldn't say it's the craziest movie game to, to have a fan. Yeah, to. well, there there are some out there that are obviously not right. that great, but um, also I I don't think they were um, developed by EA. I think they were only 
produ- uh, published you, by them and stuff. Yeah, yeah, well, that's the, yeah, that's what I meant, publisher. Because right. um, the the original the one I played my channel was released on PC, obviously, hence why I, I recorded it. But that was not published by EA, but obviously they they didn't have rights to it, so they couldn't you know right. do their own Fellowship yeah. of the Ring game. Hence why they've mm-hmm. only got two. And in the, the the two towers they include some levels from the Fellowship of the Ring, so. Right. Yep. I think it's interesting you said Ratchet and Clank. I, mm-hmm. It's a game you played. Uh, Bombastic was also a fan. Right. Um, real quick, do you want to witness this so I don't I don't mess this up? Oh, sorry, um, sorry, sorry. Right. Yep. I was just checking. I put the water right here, this corner. Yep. Then it should create infinite water, right? Yes, it should. Yep. Hey. There you go. And then I just bucket this whenever I need water. Yep. Okay. Cool. Um. Also. I need to break this again because I wasn't able to get a block down there. Okay, wish me luck as I head down the rabbit hole. Oh, nice. Um, now, since you brought up Lord of the Rings, yep. I'd like to ask a question about that. Mm-hmm. Um, you were obviously a uh, big Lord of the Rings fan. For those yep. Who don't yep. know. Mm-hmm. Uh, both the books and the movies, right? Yep, yep. I could eat. Okay. Um, my question is, what do you think about the changes they made from the books to the movies now they and we can go over both the lord of the rings and the hobbit right right yeah, that'll yeah. be a fun topic mm-hmm. but um it, it, it compared to most games um if you want you can start mining out some cobbles too uh, i was gonna I, I could chop trees if you want uh that works too okay, okay yeah. um i just i want to turn this into a three block uh bridge for a little bit so that oh I okay i get it right yeah yeah, yeah yeah right i'll do that then Okay. Well, I mean, oh. here, if you want, <laughs> yeah, don't maybe don't mind from there. Maybe here, do, uh, pass me, pass me. Um, do you have any more half slabs? Yeah. Do you want to place it while I mine? I was, well, I was gonna say, um, I can do something like that, and then that, and then if you do that, yeah, that works. Well, look at how resourceful this guy is. Well, I, I don't know. <laughs> this is just you, you. don't get all of them, unfortunately, but it's just you know you don't. Right. And it's good because you don't break that. You 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 you've, you've done it well as well because like, like you've put the the crafting table underneath, which means if it <laughs> doesn't, very unfortunate. Sp- yeah, if the block doesn't spawn back in time, I'm not going to dig the block under me. So yeah. Right, right. Okay, well I'll start placing them. All right. Uh, do you want to pass me the slabs I passed? Yep, yep, yep. And, and your cobble. blocks. There you go. So uh, yeah, what, what did you starting with Lord of the Rings? What changes? Uh, it, so, sorry, sorry, say that again. Uh, starting with Lord of the Rings, mm. well, what did you think of the changes they made to the movies? Changes in the books? movies. Well, I guess first and foremost, the Fellowship of the Ring. There was a lot they left out of the early part, and as a you know fan of the book, I would have loved to have seen what they could have done, given how the rest of the movies went. How they they were pretty loyal to what Tolkien had done. I would have loved to have seen what they could have done with things like the old forest, um, which they only mentioned right. in rumor in the book. Um, Tom Bombadil, they left him out. The Barrow Downs, which I visited in the War in the North, which was pretty neat. And I visited it in the Fellowship of the Ring game, which followed the lines of the book. But for, as for the films, I would have loved to have seen what they could have done with that. However, I understand they couldn't, like, to fit it in a cinema, they would have had to cut all, you know, they had to cut a lot out. So I, I get that. I don't, you know, I don't hate them for having to leave that out. But it would have been nice to have seen what they could have done with that. Right. Um, later on, and I think I, I might have speak, spoken about this in a live stream before, but just the the dynamics of the Fellowship was very, very different. And the dynamics of their journey was very, very different in the latter part of the film. Because as you know, they, they lost Gandalf. Spoilers, they lost Gandalf. Yeah. Um, and then you always got them pretty, like, there was a scene in Lothlorien where Frodo's kind of like in a vision or something, and they all look at him or something in, you know, some sort of distant way, which... I felt they were trying to kind of trying to create a bit of conflict to push Frodo away from them. You don't really right. get that an awful lot in the book, from what I remember. I mean, you do get Boromir being Boromir at points right. in the book, but that's that's just him. Like, you don't get the impression the rest of the Fellowship is uh, that distant. And the Urukai coming from Isengard that is a very very real threat in the book, which in the film, sorry, which I kind of get. Purely because they've got to create some sort of, um, you know, conflict. They've got to create some sort of danger. There's got to be tension. They can't just, you know, la di da da. We're going on a journey and all right, that sort of stuff. Right. They've got to. But you know, in the in the in the book, it's almost like the Jaws effect in the book. You know what I mean? Because 
as I've never seen Jaws, but I believe the Jaws effect is you don't see the bad guy until the very end or whatever, and it's the the threat of knowing there's something there, but you just don't know what it is. That's mm -hmm. kind of the effect you get in the book because they they know Saruman's up to something, they don't know what. When they're travelling down the Anduin, they know there's a threat coming from the east, which is no, yeah, the east, you know, the eastern shore, where the the Mordor side of the Anduin. Right. But it's only at the end of, or either the end of the Fellowship, start of the Two Towers book, where they realise, oh wait, there's actually orcs on uh, our side of the river too. So mm -hmm. they they change that dynamic quite a bit as well, which I'm not against again, but it's you would have kind of like the mystery of it. Yeah, yeah, the the mystery yeah. side is definitely something that I miss. Mm -hmm. um, as for the That's other, as for the other films, obviously they stop and like the Two Towers stops earlier than the. Two Towers book stops. The film stops earlier right. than the book does, which, again, isn't bad, but I feel like they could have made something of a cliff... I actually need three cobble, because I don't have a, a pickaxe. Oh. Um, Uh-oh. Wait, do you have a pickaxe? Uh, yeah, yeah. Duh. Okay. okay. I, it's got a brief scare for a second. <laughs> That's fine. There you go. Um, I, I feel like they could have done something with the whole Frodo's been captured and Sam's left on his own kind of thing, but... Um, you know, again, I, I I don't think that was a major major thing. Right. Uh, well, anyway, um, we we have we've made a lot of progress on this bridge so far. Yep. We are a little bit over my usual. That's all right. Time. Yeah. Uh, by that I mean. You can cut out my blunder. You, you can cut out my blunder of me not knowing what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> or now you can leave it. It's up to you. But if you want to, uh, need, if you need to make up time. Well, either way, I think that's gonna do it for this episode. Thank you so much sure. for joining me, no James problem. Douglas, on this bridge. Uh, nice. Next up, I need to make a mob farm, so I will ah, okay, yep. definitely need to get on to that. Mm -hmm. uh, but thank you guys for watching. Make sure you check out the playlist with all of our perspectives on it. There's been a little bit more recently, so if you've been missing your Kcore SP Phil, you can get it there. Link will be in my description. Thank you guys, and so long, and thanks to James. No worries. Thank you. Bye for now.